Now, I am sure that none of the animals which we have are suffering because we don't take care of them. We do everything to keep them good, well, and happy. And this is the job in which we are, you as well as me, to present these animals as ambassadors of their kind to the public which is visiting our parks. It is very hard to believe that these the, the new industry, these people which are against us, are talking about budgets which are up to 100,000 and more, 100 million, I'm sorry, million a year. And of these 100 million a year, they spent 2% maximum for the well-being of animals. We should keep that in mind. I am preparing for all of you a documentation which comes from the Berman uh, editor. And Berman editor, which had been overtaken by Jack Hubbard, is the institution which is criticizing this new industry, to call it somehow. I am sure that all the animals which we have should have in our installation also the five liberties, which for my opinion includes that they can also breed. And we should not uh, step backwards and allow it that these animals are suffering because some individuals which have no scientific background are asking for it. What they have reached in the past, we have lifted with the case of Kaiko, and right now they are proclaiming to put our animals in sanctuaries which don't exist. The sanctuary in Iceland, where you have, uh, where you have right now two beluga whales which came from Shanghai, this installation is only usable dur uh, during the summertime, and in wintertime they have to go in shelter. We here at Laurel Park, we fight against them. And uh, I would invite you all to take a look at our foundation and what we are doing. What we are doing for animals in general and what we are doing for cetaceans, specific, uh, specific, specific sorry, Specifically, now it comes out, okay. At Laurel Park, we occupy four veterinarians. They have two full-time assistants. They have three full-time lab staff. They have two external consultants, which is Dr. Lakaf and Professor Lees. We have 30 trainers. And they work hand in hand all together and take care of our animals. Our foundation has been created in 94. And since 94, we have spent about 27 millions in projects. So when you hear about the numbers which we are giving you, this is net. There are already all the costs for administration or general costs deducted. So that is really money which we have given into the projects. And so we were able to save 12 species of parrots, wherefrom I must tell you one species 
gives us special uh, pride, which is the Lears Macaw, where we stepped in uh, about 20 years ago. There were 60 birds uh, which were still counted in Liberty. Today they count more than 1,400. And we got from the Brazilian government two pairs in commission. They are not our property, but we were asked to breed them because they couldn't breed them in Sao Paulo. So we did this and we put out of them over 40 uh, youngsters up till now. And from those 19, we did send back to Brazil. And from the 19, eight or nine, I'm not sure yet, eight or nine have been liberated. And from those eight or nine, we have now one pair which has bred four uh, youngsters out there in liberty. I think this is the success we all need and we all have to talk about. Well, when it comes to cetaceans, um, we have uh, the group of, uh, of orcas in the street of Gibraltar, which are under our care also for almost 20 years now, and we know everything about them. And we are fighting here, uh, and with the help of the Canarian government, to uh, get Macaronesia, the best quality for animals which live here. We created Cambio, which is financed partly 50% by Laurel Park Foundation and 50% by our government. And I guess during this meeting, you will hear from Javier Almunia uh, more about this. So I'm not taking away whatever there is. I want to finish my words uh, asking you to consider yourself as the ambassadors for our animals then whatever we do is to convince the people not to destroy our nature, not to destroy our seas, not to destroy whatever we are destroying right now, and to keep these wonderful animals in best conditions out in liberty.